Hey everybody, welcome back to a, another episode of Phantom Brigade. Uh, last time we lost Lars, Jacobson, and Sierra, and that was a real disappointment and really unfortunate because uh, it'd be really helpful to have his mech again this time, but we don't have it, unfortunately, but this time we are going to be attacking a broken down convoy with Nadia Harper Kilo and Rashad Rosen of Foxtrot. It's really unfortunate that we lost them because we would have been able to have three mechs and three mechs would have been so much more helpful uh, j with attacking these just large number of enemies. Like that last mission, there was like seven or eight of them and thank God that the home guard sent some units with us because if they didn't, we would have been screwed. Uh, we got these thingies over here. Okay... We got these weird little building thingies. That looks like a little bit of a glitch there. That would be some good cover if we can get around to it. What's that thing? We got two mechs. Oh, is that the objective? Okay. Let's see, this mech has... What is this stuff? Liquid fix. Barrier armor can be regenerated if the unit is not under fire. Regeneration will stop when the liquid fix applies to so you just have auto regen pretty much that's cool thanks guys okay let's see this guy is going to get attacked by the one mech and that's it he's going to get attacked by that mech and that's it so what we'll do is nothing actually we'll uh attack this guy pretty much immediately then we'll dodge during that attack we'll dodge here we'll dodge this way or do we want to dodge back we'll dodge this way uh, actually there's not very much cover over here from the run to for the future so we'll dash this way during the attack and then once the attack is done so right about here, we'll attack him again. And then after that attack, we'll start moving somewhere. We'll start moving this way. I don't know what else is going to be over there, but I feel like we need to get up to this objective at some point. Now, shield guy. He's going to take fire. He's going to take a lot of fire. So it'd probably be best if we can get him behind some cover. So what we'll do is we'll move him up right there. So there's a little bit of cover. It's not full cover. But then we'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll go ahead and shield towards the mech, I think. And then that guy is going to come around. So it's perfect time to start blasting, I think, towards that mech. Just like that. It's perfect, I think. Ooh, he's going to get start, start getting attacked again. So what we'll do is we'll move him. Is he heavy? He is heavy. What's this guy? This guy is also heavy, so that's not the best. I was going to crash him. But basically, once he's move, moved there, we'll move this way a little bit. For that attack, they will crash. I don't quite want to crash. So we'll just move this way. And hopefully that will allow him to start dodging that attack. Not really. I can't do that. Okay. I think that's as, about as best we're going to get. Okay, that was pretty good. What's this mech at? This mech is pretty hurt now. So it has 1.7 seconds to attack him before he's going to start healing. Okay, well this guy is 
not going to get attacked until that guy at the end. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll attack him right there. We'll attack this guy. And then we'll attack him again as he's running away. And then we'll run over here. Yeah, we'll run over here during that attack. And then... Okay, this guy is going to get attacked a lot, so we're going to shield right away for this guy. And then he's going to get attacked more here, so we'll shift have to shield again towards this tank. It would be nice if we can get an attack off on this guy. So he doesn't start healing. Looks like this guy is not going to be able to attack that mech. We'll just leave that mech be for now. We'll just run straight this way. A little bit like that. No, I don't want to accidentally. We'll dash. And then we'll run over. And then right once, once he gets right past our friendly unit, then we'll start attacking. This guy a bunch. And then we'll move nowhere. There, that's one mech gone. And these guys are barely hurt. This guy did lose his shield already, so unfortunately we have no more shield. But one mech is down, so that's good. Let's see. They're going to attack about two and a half seconds in. Yeah. And they're all going to attack on this left side. So if we can get over to the right, we might be able to get some good cover. Uh, let's, so let's, we're going to have to move right there with that guy. And when does this guy get attacked? He gets attacked by a tank. There. So we'll move this guy over a little bit. And then here we will attack this guy. We'll get a pot shot in on him. And then afterwards we will dash back behind cover. Like that. And then we'll probably just start moving this way a little bit further so that we're next to each other. This guy is going to get attacked here. He's going to get attacked by the tank, which still has a pot shot on him. So we won't go quite that far. We will move to about here. The tank still can hit him, but not as much. And then here we'll start moving forward again. At the very end. Like that. There's not much else we can do to avoid attack. Oh good, the tank did hit the rock. That's good. So this guy is hurt. He does have liquid fix going though, so sucks. He's gonna attack, they're gonna attack, they're gonna attack. Okay. Let's see. They're gonna run away, and then the tanks are gonna attack. This guy is gonna get attacked by that far tank. Right around here. I think that if we can get these guys down here. He's going to get attacked there behind the rock, and then he's going to get attacked by the tank, and that tank has nothing on him. So right about here, we'll start moving up again. So we'll just start, we'll just move like that, right there. Like that. Perfect. This guy is going to get attacked by the tank, and that's it. So I don't think we need to move him so seriously. We can just wait for the tank to start attacking, like that. And then once we get up here... Uh, it's blocked, but hopefully by the time he gets to there it won't be. Maybe just move that a little bit earlier. A little bit earlier? 
Alright, I'll try that. Okay, that's a bunch of misses. That's good to see. That tank is dead now, apparently. He's blowing, he's in the process of blowing up, it looks like. Looks like, okay. That mech is going to attack our mech right now. So that's unfortunate. He's going to come up real close, and then that tank is going to attack us. Um, so we might as well just start, move up here a little bit. And then, as soon as we can, right there, we'll just start blasting. Like right there. We'll move. Um, he's going to get attacked through the rock, so he should be okay if we move here. And we'll do like that. And then we'll go ahead and attack again, like right there. And then maybe one more time. Uh, no, it looks like he's going to get overheated. So after that, then we'll come down here. Just like, just like that. Wait for that attack and do that. Perfect. This guy. He's going to get attacked point blank here. So if we can kill him before that happens. Like right that. Just like that. We'll wait till there. We'll attack. And then can I get another attack off? We'll have exploded already. So then what we'll do is we'll start moving this guy back here into the target zone. After these attacks. Hopefully this guy will be dead after three attacks. Un unlikely, but the handgun is not nearly as good as Oh, the main weapon, so I sh I'm not too worried about the damage coming from that. Okay, we're in the area. Need to stay at the location. Okay. That's okay. Okay, looks like that guy is blowing up now, so this guy is just going to move away. Uh, how much damage did that guy take? Uh, he took a good bit to the lower body, but he's, he's got nothing destroyed just yet, so that's good. Um, we'll move this guy up to here. All the way here. And we'll get an attack in, like, right here. Hopefully we can start taking out that mech. This guy has to stay. So unfortunately we can't do anything. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait. Yep. Just like that. Perfect. Yep, there went that mech. That's awesome. Okay, grab it. Crate is locked on. Drone has the cords. Okay, perfect. This tank is damaged, he's going to turn, and he's going to attack the shotgun guy. So we can just bring this guy up as much as we want, like right here, and just continue wailing on him. Like that, and then, like that. Good enough, I think. I think two more attacks will, uh, actually, he's going to, move so maybe we don't maybe we just don't move at all although that is blocked so maybe we just move a little bit like that and then we move back to where we are afterwards and then we can attack like right here on this guy and i can't get any more so we'll just do that oh. No, this guy, he's going to get attacked, so I don't see any reason why we should move him. So we'll just wait facing that way. The drone took off the care package or whatever it is. There we go. All house still eliminated. 
Oof. I'm telling you, I really need a third guy. Because without a third guy, it is really getting difficult to uh, handle all of the units. We got a shield. I mean, we get all of this stuff. We have a the defender and we have an aggressor. They have a shotgun. Oh, I want the shotgun for sure. They have a assault rifle. That's good. And then I guess um, let's just take let's take some of this arrow stuff. Can we scrap anything else? Yeah, you can scrap that. It's not much else we could do, unfortunately. For 40 escalation. I don't, that's the like makes things difficult as you spend time, but I'm not sure how much 40 is. Heavy armor sets. They have more integrity than beat him armor, but are heavier. Blah blah blah. Build that plays to the strengths of such armor can be formidable. There we go. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Stop that. Stop that. I wanted to. Uh, Rotate. Thank you. 47. Okay. I mean, that guy is getting repaired. This guy's getting repaired. Let's see. Uh, units. Inventory. Workshop. Can we make another mech frame yet? We need 300 supplies and we only have 138, unfortunately. So, no, the answer is no, we cannot yet. I am not really wanting to go into this reinforced camp without a third mech, so I think we'll just go around it for now. I don't think there's any point in contesting it yet until we attack some things. Escalation level is increased. Okay. Um, and these guys are healed. If we get reinforcements, then yes, we will attack this one. But if not, then I don't see any point. Reach the nearest resupply point. The mobile base is not ready for another fight. It's not. I mean, my two mechs are fully healed. My pilots are good. Not sure what that wants. Okay. Let's see. Do we get any... Okay. There are three enemies already there. It's a level three mission. It's hard. What if we leave? What if we contest this province? Man, I don't see any reason not to do that. Okay. It's still hard. I mean, look at all these enemies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with three more. Oh my god, like, I need another mech. But I just don't have the supplies for it. I mean, I will 
try this mission in the next episode. If if, I, if I'm not doing it, then it's because I probably figured something else out. But for now, this is what we'll be ready to do next time.